Lee syndrome is a mitochondrial disorder um, that's most commonly found in infants. It's, it's a very severe disease and mitochondria, as uh, we know, are where the energy producing parts of the cell and that it's also where the cell consumes oxygen. We've shown previously that low oxygen environments, basically hypoxia or living at altitude, can have remarkably beneficial effects in the premier mouse model of mitochondrial disease. And you can imagine that it's challenging to deliver low oxygen to people, for example. And the goal of this project was to address some of that challenges by administering low oxygen uh, via like a molecule or a drug. We know that every time that you or I take a breath, 90% of that oxygen is consumed by the mitochondria to make energy or ATP. And so you can imagine that if mitochondria are broken, you're no longer consuming that oxygen. And so this unused oxygen is building up in the tissues and causing havoc. Daily dosing of hypoxystat um, had a really profound effect on this mouse model of mitochondrial disease. We were able to use this uh, approach to prevent disease and increase lifespan fairly dramatically. Even when starting administration of hypoxystat at the late stage of the disease, at which point some animals are already suffering from uh, adverse outcomes, hypoxystat was able to reverse the course of the disease and improve many of the outcomes we studied, such as behavior and lifespan. Lee syndrome um, is a really devastating disease, as are many mitochondrial diseases, and currently there's no available therapies, and so we hope that this will serve as the first proof of concept uh, for a novel therapeutic strategy for Lee syndrome and beyond. I think that opens the world of therapeutic options for people who struggle with diseases that might be treated by hypoxia.